Hi there, in today's video we're gonna talk about the service ceiling. By the end of the video you will know what is the service ceiling and what is the difference between the service ceiling and the absolute ceiling. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriele from PilotClimb.com. I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737 and I help you to become a better pilot. So if you don't want to miss the next content, consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, the today's topic is the service ceiling. As you know, on the atmosphere, at low level of the atmosphere, the pressure and the density of the air is quite high. Okay, and since your aircraft works with the pressure of the density, your aircraft performances, they work with the uh, pressure and density of the air, the higher the pressure and density of the air, the higher will be, the better will be your performances. Okay, but when you climb, the density and the pressure of the air actually decreases. Thus, your performances, the, oh, the performances of your aircraft actually get worse. Okay, so let's imagine that you are taking off out of a run on the mean sea level. We take off, we put the maximum thrust, the maximum continuous thrust that we can set, we start climbing, and let's say that after the takeoff, the aircraft is actually capable to provide us with 3000 feet per minute. It's just an example, okay? you will see that when you climbing, since the density and the pressure of the air is actually decreasing, your performance will start to get worse. Thus, you will not be able to maintain these 3000 feet per minute as a rate of climb. There will be a point called service ceiling in which the aircraft will be only capable to give you 100 feet per minute. Okay, this is actually your service ceiling. Whenever you've got the maximum continuous thrust set and the aircraft is only capable to give you 100 feet per minute, this is the service ceiling. Okay, so the service ceiling, let's say, is a thrust limited altitude. Okay, because you you are you have not you don't have any thrust available anymore to produce more uh, rate of climb. And then if you fly above the service ceiling with this 100 feet per minute, you will see that you will reach a point in which you will not be able to climb anymore and your rate of climb will be zero. When your rate of climb will be zero with maximum thrust, that's called absolute ceiling and I made a separate video about that. Okay, so the difference between the service ceiling and the absolute ceiling is that at the service ceiling, your aircraft will still be able to give you 100 feet per minute of rate of climb, and absolute ceiling, your rate of climb, uh, the, the, the aircraft will, be, uh, will not be able to climb anymore. Okay, this is the main difference. But again, the absolute ceiling is something that has been flown and tested during a flight certification. Okay, when you fly as an airline pilot in an airline jet, you normally you never fly at absolute ceiling. Okay, the service ceiling varies with the weight. So if you take Take, let's say a Boeing 737 of 75 tons and a Boeing 737 of 50 tons, you will see that heavier the aircraft with 75 tons, the 737 of 75 tons will have a lower service ceiling compared to the lighter 737 of 50 tons. Okay, so an empty 737 compared to a full loaded 737 is gonna have the empty one an higher service, service ceiling because the weight is less, thus it can climb more and that the engine can provide more rate of climb. And the aircraft with the higher weight, the full loaded 737 of 75 tons, since the weight component is higher, it needs to create more lift in order to fly. Okay, and the engine needs to have more power in order to produce the same rate of climb at the same altitude compared to the light one. So depending on your weight on day by day, your service ceiling may change, okay? You've got this information in the airplane flight manuals or in the FMS of your plane, depending on the aircraft you fly. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this very short video about service ceiling and you uh, understood the difference between the service ceiling and the absolute ceiling. If you have any questions, leave in a comment below your, uh, your thoughts and then I will help you out. I wish you a great day and I'll see you soon.